characteristics of ellipse foci on the y axis and foci on the x axis again here these two are the directrix two focuses that's why we are getting foci not focuses we will be say foci two foci directrix two directrix axis x axis y axis and the coordinates minus a0 a0 0b and 0 minus b similarly this side two foci two directrix x axis y axis okay now let's fill it center origin center and here also at the origin vertex here the vertex is plus minus a comma 0 or we can say that a is the vertex okay and sorry this is only for this part okay foci plus minus a e comma 0 where e is what eccentricity directrix x is equal to plus a upon e x is equal to directrix both sides plus minus a upon e then we are having major axis major axis 2a minor axis 2b then equation of major axis equation of major axis will be y is equal to 0 equation of minor axis will be x is equal to 0 Let us write them here. It will be two b square upon a, and symmetry. Symmetry will be about both the axes. Symmetry about both axes. Symmetry about both the axes. Now we are having. <laughs> Foci on the y-axis. Equation x square upon b square plus y square upon a square is equal to one. Now center. Again coordinates, origin, vertices zero plus minus a. Foci zero plus minus a e. Directrix. Sorry, y is equal to plus minus a upon e. Major axis two a minor axis two b. Equation of major axis now x is equal to zero. Equation of minor axis y is equal to zero. Let us write them same two b square upon. Two b square upon a, and about both axes. So this is a small recap for the ellipse.